Hello, Collective. Hello. I got another good story pulled out for us here that might uh, relate with. One of y'all out here, if you're new to my channel, welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pound. Nice to meet you. Um, thank you to my loyal support that's been there with me through it all. I love you guys. I love you new, new subscribers. I love y'all, and I welcome you and appreciate you. And and um, I don't want you to get mad. If this story ain't for you, then it ain't for you, okay? But if there's something in it that helps you, then good. I hope it does, and I hope that you'll hit subscribe so I can give a deck away at 500, you all. I'm almost there, and I need y'all's help because um, it's been a slow process for me. I got 300 videos, you all. I'm, I've not just started if you all think so. No, I got 300 videos, and there's a lot of people out here, they have... 200 videos and they already got 5,000 subscribers so i need to help you guys because uh, i know i'm i meant to do this and i and i'm wanting to help so here i go um confidence it comes in time with practice that, that girl she's looking out the window uh, of a bus seat and she's got a sword of truth bag right beside of her and, and you just need to be confident honey and set on that throne your potential is endless that's why that come out and let them go. That tree come out and it says, let them go. Let go. Let them go. Whoever's hurt and harmed you, let it go. Don't let it bring your confidence down. That's what it's saying. Okay? And it says, when your instincts tell you that you need to move away from a person or to speak your truth, then follow up with action. Pay attention to your instincts. Okay? Pay attention to your instincts because the Sin Masters are helping you to grow and leave from this toxic individual. See, you need to let them go. This person, they want you to rebel so they have something on you again. You you know that, right? These people that you're these toxic people, they just want you to rebel again. It says every time we laugh, it will raise our vibes. So just keep laughing about it. Don't don't let them get you down. Uh, don't let them get you down. And it says Shout out to all you stars out here. You all give us our entertainment to watch and to look up to. So y'all keep it totally real out in Hollywood. So somebody out in Hollywood, they think you're funny and you're a star and they laugh. They laugh. They think it. They, you're just like down fireworks. Boom, boom, boom. Shooting off everywhere. Uh, 233. Uh, they think that you're clever and witty. They, somebody thinks you're clever and witty out there in Hollywood now. And, it, and they're telling you, when the universe sent a person to your life, you need to trust and have faith that it will all manifest for you both at the right time. Ooh, so they're trying to manifest you into their life now. <clears throat> and somebody wants, someone wants to give you a kiss. They're falling head over heels in love with you. Ooh, they're using the law of attraction. You know, and uh, you got to guard your thoughts when you're sending because you can attract that person or thing into your energy. You know, it's called the law of attraction. So they keep thinking of you intently. They they think of they're in love with you. They think that it's all going to manifest for you at the right time because you're also magnetically attracted. And you and this person has a strong bond between each other and people see it. So they will send people to mess with it, but they don't realize that God will always give you what you was meant for you. Yeah, these people is trying to mess it up, but they can't. And uh, this person that you need to let them go, it says, uh, they needed to learn how to give to you and stop taking all the time from you, that you was watering them with all your love and they weren't giving you jack shit, crap, nothing. Because that person was manipulating this situation. They 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 act like they ha they just they give you everything but they, they don't. <laughs> and uh that man or woman has a curse over their life through sex with a partner that stuck to them through intercourse from another lover, from another person. Are you listening? <laughs> and it might be somebody, um a spiritual person. And the signs of a spiritual person, you have no fears. You see things as they are. You don't speak ill or gossip. You're loving and kind. You believe that the soul is eternal. You meditate. You This is your life purpose. You care for your mental, mental and physical health. You're knowledgeable and about the right things. And you have inner peace. Okay? That's how you know if you're a spiritual person. So there's somebody in the spirit world that has a curse 
through their lover and they're having meetings uh, the, the Galactic Federation come out and they're having meetings in the community and collaborations going on behind the scenes, you know. And the Galactic Federation, that is uh, Scientology. Does y'all know that's what that means? Yeah, now, I'm going to say yes, and I'll see if that other reader that loves a copy or everything I say, is she'll go study up on it, and then she'll finally see that that's what the fucking Galactic Federation means. That's the that's Scientologist. So, somebody out in Hollywood is watching everything that you do they're a Scientologist. Just letting you know that's what that means right there. Oh, and, and somebody, they're wanting to send a message to you. They're wanting to send a message to you. Because they know that these, this person is doing voodoo on you. And they do voodoo on a divine feminine. And, and you're aware of it, but they can't get to you or ruin your reputation. They just keep sticking you with pins, but you, know, you don't feel it because God protects you from it. They're planning on doing something sneaky behind your back, this person. And it could be this person that you need to let them go. They might be trying to leave you without even a word to you. Are you listening? They might be trying to leave you. So, I mean, you need to get to leaving done first for whoever your story's for. Oh, uh, and uh, this person, whoever this is that's doing voodoo on you in a spirit community, uh, they they can't make a way the way you do for their self. So they're a fucking, they're just a damn thief. They're just a damn thief. Whoever it is, they're just a damn thief. And all they know how to do is spew hate. And this person will call you every name in the book and cuss you, but they won't say that you're a child of God. So, but you're an empath, and you can feel everyone's energy, and you have to remember how you was treated by this narcissist and remember the energy and all the lies and deceit from that person that you're meant to leave and not stay with. This person hates you. Uh, they paid somebody to do voodoo on you. And um, you're somebody that taps into your divine mind. And when you learn to tap into your divine mind, that's when you get downloads from source and infinite spiritual knowledges. And, and you know, I'm an empath, and that's why I see all these numbers. And I can tell you that uh, somebody only wants you for what you give to them. They, they love your motherly qualities. They're a manipulator. They know that you have a person that is head over heels in love with you, and there's fireworks between you. Um, and the Sin of Masters is helping you to leave this toxic person. Listen to your intuition. They just want you to rebel, so they have something on you at court if you've been together a long time. Um, and, and you need to go towards this person you got a strong bond with and get away from this manipulator It has a curse on, over their fucking life. Why would you want to stay with somebody who's got a curse over their life? Pay attention to, you, to your instincts in life. Life it up because this magnetic bond, they're head over heels in love with you. You need to start watering that relationship. They want to send you a message about how they're having meetings on you in the community and they're paid people to do voodoo on you. And this man, this partner that's got this sex demon on them, they're planning on leaving you high and dry because uh, they, they're, they're trying to steal what you've put into this marriage or relationship. They're trying to take all the wealth. They know you're a child of God and you're an empath and you get a lot of messages. And Spirit says you need to leave this manipulator. Because your, poten your potential is endless. Let them go. Be confident you can do it on your own. That's what it's saying, okay? That's what it's saying for somebody now, you guys. Oh, and did you see my whole stack of cards? Look. And I put these down here that I just did so it don't get mixed up. So i got to go through all of them. <laughs> it's probably 600 cards. <laughs> if not more than that. Uh, and... Then I pulled out full moon. Uh, once a, that's when they're doing this, and the person that is doing a uh, these spells on you, there it could be a cardinal sign, an Aries, a Cancer, a Libra, or a Capricorn. And um, so they're they're going out there, and um, you need to go out during this full moon and release this energy that is release this energy uh that they're sending to you for these voodoo spells so it can't get to you go out there and say spirit do not let this voodoo get to me please send it back to these people that's all you gotta do in this next full moon are you listening that's all you gotta do and um uh, 
divine feminine. That's all you got to do. And uh, then part of fortune came out. And the part of fortune is a point in your birth chart that reveals the sign and house where we can find happiness, spirit, and prosperity, mental, emotional, physical, and material wealth. In most birth charts, the part of the fortune is denoted with an X, and it is calculated using three points, your ascendant, your sun, and moon signs. If you're born during the day, you can locate your part of future fortune point using the following degrees in your chart, your ascendant plus your moon minus your sun. If you're born during the night, you can calculate your part of fortune using your ascendant minus your moon plus your sun. So this this person that is doing voodoo on you, they know that you're supposed to have a lot of fortune, and that's why they keep doing these spells during, during the moon signs, and that's why, like I just told you, I had 300 videos, and that's why they ain't getting around, because it's voodoo, voodoo bitch. That's why. And, you know, person that does voodoo, they'll have a voodoo something on their table sometimes, and then that's the ones you'll know, and it might have been a cancer. It just said, huh. <clears throat> I watched your reader. It used to have a voodoo thing on her table. I will never watch that woman again. No. She don't have it there anymore because I guess she, people realize what that thing was there on her table for, okay? I don't have that. You won't catch me with that on my damn table. No, no, no. You won't catch that on my table, buddies. <coughs> Could be your lover paid this person to do that. Yep. Could be, could, 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 could be to attack your body. That's why I always come out. They love sticking you with pins. They got a voodoo doggy. Uh -huh. They love doing it, the cock wicker. Because they're a false person, man or woman. They're a false person. Who is a false person? Oh, this false person wants to take action. This is Marge. This is Aries energy. They got a... This is about uh, the drive in you, you know. This is about confronting this false person. You need to confront this false person. Force yourself to confront this person, it just said. Um, so you'll be free from this person and free from associations with that person. So uh, you and your circle of friends can be in harmonious, in harmoniously, you know. And this is 11th house. This is... For humanity's sake, your hopes and wishes, you do it for the future. I'm an Aquarius. See, this false person has the drive uh, for tearing down your life. And you do things for humanity's sake, you know, and I do. I'm an Aquarius. And uh, they're trying to bury you. They're, they're doing voodoo for you to die, number 19. Oh, did you hear that? So they want to end you. They're trying to put you in the coffin at your house. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, they are. No, that's not going to happen, you call clickers. No. And it could be your whole community is doing this to you. It could be your whole community is doing this to you. And um, what under false person? What under Mars? I spirit, I love you. What under 11th house? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. What on our coffin? Oh. <laughs> what on our house? <laughs> what on our community? What on our community? Okay, 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 okay. So what it is, is uh, whoever this false person is, they could be a Scorpio. And uh, this is about you using the extraordinary power of prayer to help you in the highest and lowest aspects of yourself. You know, you, they're trying to control this situation, whoever this fucking Scorpio is. Uh, they're, they're trying to control that their secrets doesn't get out. They, doesn't, they don't like that the power it's brewing up down inside. They do not want their secrets to come out. Um, you know, they got to drive for keeping it sticking you a pin so uh you won't take action to put that person in jail and uh you're getting action you're getting this inner energizing energy sent towards you so you can go towards the power of love baby it's about investment gambles and other games and your creations and you do things with the trust of a child it's about fun and romance and making art and you do things dramatically so, uh, you know, it's giving you energy to go towards your true love and leave this idiot.
for humanity's sake. You're supposed to leave this false person for humanity's sake because this is your wish. This is your wish, and, you know, this is about your spirituality and how you experience it, and this is about trusting your psychic knowledge because this is about your dreams and your ideals and you're a part of something overwhelming, and this person wants to uh, put you in the, in the ground, in a coffin. But uh, I'll admit is uh, that ending is coming to this false person over here, and you're getting ready to receive some unexpected income. And it's coming to your house. It's coming to where you live at, and it might be coming from a, from a Taurus, and they're giving you resources to maintain your house, and because uh, you, you, you're very productive. This is about your beliefs and the cost of your beliefs. Use the most direct way. So, I mean, you're going to have unexpected money to keep your house up in this community. Maybe your spiritual community is going to help you. And, uh, yeah, and then we got the sixth house. This is Virgo. This is this is about your service to others and what is good for, for all of us. You do that. Your work helps all of us, you know. And you do this as a full-time job because you're serving humanity and you do it a little at a time. And Spirit loves you and they appreciate you and it's so false person. This old false person just don't want their secrets to come out. You need to take action towards your love. It might be an Aries and a Aries and Leo, or maybe that's your North Node. <laughs> oh, and then here, you know, because you got to do this for humanity's sake, Aquarius. This is about trusting your psychic knowledge that this death is going to bring you some unexpected income right to your house. It could be uh, Taurus is leaving to you, uh, you know, in your community for your work. For your good work. That's what it's saying, okay? Oh, uh, that what it said now, you guys. Oh, uh, that what it said, you guys. Oh, won't, 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 boy, boy. Let's do a flip, boy, boy. Let's do a flip, and let's do it again. Let's do a flip, and win and greet yeah. And they're going to be upside down and ever each way. But it'll be all right. Don't get in a tizzy and be afraid. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, spirit, I love you. And I thought to thank you. And I thought that takes you to. We to thank you for telling us. We thank you for telling us the truth, because you always do. We love you for that, because you always tell us the truth now. Oh, what's on our temperance? Oh, that what? Oh, thank you, spirit. Ooh. Ooh, what's on our night of one? Oh, 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 ooh, yeah. What's on our night of one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. What's on our five of one? What's on our night of one? Boy, boy, you stole that right off to our face. Okay, hear what it says. Yeah, you see what it says. It says four of pinnacles. You're very careful and orderly. Um, this is about material gain and success. And uh, your rank, your rank in love, Lord of Earthly Power, four of pinnacles. This is about uh, someone is cruel and sly around at the moment. They're very deceitful and unreliable and narrow-minded. And a uh, temperance angel came uh, to make you realize this culmination of forces that was inside yourself and your temperament. And they, and, and they learned to make you balanced, okay? Because you used to be a cruel, damn, deceitful, unreliable now. Queen of Swords upside down now. That's what you was. And this is about lack of sacrifice and a failure to give a oneself. Okay, they had to balance you because you wasn't giving yourself the correct way. And then it says, uh, then it says, Nine of Cups. This is someone who is, uh, untruthful, sensual, idle. 
idle hands is the devil's playground through a cups upside down. This is loss of prestige, overabundance, excessive pleasure. So they they love pleasure so much, and it's a night of and night of wands come out. You're someone who's very generous and impetuous. Departure, active force. Someone's wanting to take active force to come towards you. It's this emperor. And they're on a conquest to have a victory with you and to get you away from all this strife. This is about your worldly power. You're being seen as a worldly power with ambition. Ooh, wow, that's what it means. And the wheel of fortune come out. This is about a good fortune and happiness destiny. This is fated to happen, okay? And this is for your very imaginative, poetic kind, and very you're a little coquettish sometimes, but you're good natured. Oh, Queen of Cups, and what it says is, and uh, it could be that uh, Five of Wands, whoever is Queen of Cups is, she's trying to, she's in lust and desire, trying to trick at the moment, trying to trick this Emperor, whoever at Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces is. And then the Hierophant come out. This is about divine wisdom and manifestation, ritualism, explanation, kindness, timidity. You're someone who's very kind, and you don't go with them trickery, some of bitches. And Nine of Pentacles come out, and this is a complete realization of material gain, accomplishments, inheritance, covetous, treasury of goods. So, uh... So you're going to have material gain and success, and and you you might have observed this that this was getting ready to happen. Uh, you had to quit being so narrow-minded. That's why the temperance angel come to balance you. You were uh, uh, you was feeling loss and suffering and. You felt like someone wasn't telling you the truth. And, because um, this person, all they wanted is more, more, more. They always went after more, more, more. And you're somebody who was generous with your time. And this person wanted to depart away from you and, and, and go towards just, they wanted to depart. No, they want to come towards you, uh, and it's this emperor. They feel like that you can, that you are going to have a good fortune if you all come together, uh, because your imaginative qualities, they, they love that about you. They desire you. They're in lustful energy. Yes, the emperor's in lustful energy now. That's what it said. They want to marry you, Hierophant. That's also what that card means. They, they they love your divine wisdom, and they want to build a business with you. That's what it's saying now. That's what it's saying. So don't be narrow-minded when this man comes around for whoever this is for. Trust. Trust and don't be narrow-minded. That's what Spirit said now, okay? Don't you do it now. Uh, y'all, let me give y'all one of these little messages up here. Can we have one of these messages? Oh, thank you, Spirit. It says, It says, What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? It says, The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or within a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Today, so action, be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul, and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. Boy, ain't that true. So tell Spirit you're how grateful you are today. It says, on whom am I placing blame right now? A person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. A person who blames no one has finished their lesson. Today, so action. Take responsibility. On whom are you placing blame right now? Today, free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame, and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Only love and courage live there. Make a choice to do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart. You will be led. Say, I blame myself for all my lessons. Did you hear me? That's how you got to say, I blame myself. 
and it says, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. As my Buddha, today's soul action. Choose one self-care action to do today. <laughs> Set stronger boundaries. Two, meditate and listen to your heart. Three, speak to yourself with compassion. Four, focus on your strengths. Five, say no to something that isn't a soul yes to you. Six, say yes to something that you are afraid of. Seven, let go of what you cannot control. Eight, stay far away from drama and negativity. Nine, ask for help and allow it. Ten, write down three things that you're grateful of. That's what you need to do today now. That's what you guys need to do out here, and I hope this helps them out here today. Just be grateful. Be grateful of what you do have, and don't put blame on others. Be compassionate with yourself. That's what it's saying, all right? All right, well, I hope this helps y'all today. I'm burning up. I'm going to get off here. I love you guys, and I hope this gives somebody a little bit of clarity. Peace.